Hey, this is Rolf, also known as Block Ops. Want to give you an update. It's about two and a half weeks until we're launching Zen Cash on May 23rd in uh, 2017. So I want to give you a little overview of what we're doing right now, what we're keeping busy with, what our priorities are, and who are the people that are doing it. So that if you have questions, you can reach out to us on the Slack or on forums or in other places. Um, and if you want to contribute, please reach out as well. So um, you can always find information at ZenCash.io that links to the other resources like to the Slack, to the Wiki, to the blog, and also to the YouTube channel. We're going to be putting more information out as we're leading up here. And um, the ZenCash core team, the folks that are working hard uh, to get the various elements of the launch together, and uh, we've got MoveRCX. So that's Josh. He's leading up the development. So he's involved in the original fork of Z Classic from Zcash. Has done a lot of uh, development uh, on the open source mining uh, pool, and has uh, been the lead developer on the Elios wallets, which are wallets for Zcash and Z Classic that are graphical user interface wallets for Mac and Windows and Linux and are also the wallets that are going to be used for Zen Cash. So those are just about ready to go uh, for Zen Cash. Uh, Finn Pump, Rob Biglione, uh, he's doing a lot of biz dev, so he's been going and doing uh, speaking engagements, working to bring uh, folks on to help with the community and uh, ba basically get the word out and reach out to the people that he knows in the Bitcoin and altcoin community to work to get uh, people to help contribute uh, their time and resources to the Zen Cash project. Zen Chick, Rosario, she's doing project management. So there's a lot of different moving pieces and things that we got to do to make this a successful launch. And not only a successful launch, but then successful beyond that. What we're doing is we're building a cryptocurrency here. Currency here. We're not doing initial coin offering. We're not looking for investment up front. We're doing this as a chain split off Z Classic because this came out of the Z Classic community. And so that anybody that's holding Z Classic coin, when Zen Cash launches as a chain split, will have an equal amount of Zen Cash available to them as they have with Z Classic. And Z Classic is going to continue on as being the community version of Z Cash. And Z Cash kind of see as a more corporate version of, uh, of Z Cash. Um, Jane uh, is doing marketing. She's based out of Hong Kong currently, uh, but she's leading up and uh, taking initiative on the marketing. There's a lot there because we really need to get the word out in a lot of different ways, whether that's on social media channels or uh, regular marketing or all sorts of different things. Um, she's the one that's, that's leading that up. Uh, Block Ops, that's me. I'm responsible for operations and infrastructure. I don't know everything that needs to be done with operations and infrastructure, but I've operated it in a few different industrial and IT environments over the years, and so I'm pretty familiar with the way that a lot of things need to need to work and, and can coordinate that. So that's the the uh, main folks that are part of the core team. Uh, we're there on the Slack pretty much every day. Uh, we're answering questions. We're reaching out to other folks in the community. We really want to make Zen Cash a success. However, there are a lot of people that contribute on a regular basis um, that don't really want to have their names known, but uh, you'll see them in the Slack. Um, you know, a couple folks that jump right to, to mind are certainly um, uh, Anarch3 and uh, Chronic. And there's other folks that are regular uh, people on there that are, provide lots of help. So let's talk next about what it is that we're doing to get ready for the launch and what it is that we're going to do after that and the priorities within that as well. Because we see that there are certain things that have to be done for this to be a successful launch and other things that are going to be nice to have and then others that are kind of on the roadmap that as we grow and continue to uh, add features and capabilities and people to the cryptocurrency. Here's the priorities that we're working on right now to be ready for the launch. We have to have the Zencash node application working well. 
it's going to be pretty hard to launch a cryptocurrency on a blockchain without the core application. Now the good news is this is very similar to the Z Classic node application with some changes that uh, Josh, is move, Josh is making to it to prevent uh, transaction replay, to add some security, and to do some of the other things that we want to be able to have at launch. And I talked about this in the previous video. We're redirecting some of the mining rewards to the, um, to the secure nodes as well as to the uh, governance group that can spend uh, Zencash then on marketing and development and all sorts of other things that we need for long-term viability of the cryptocurrency. Uh, Zencash wallets, very important to have. Now, the basic Linux command line wallet is the node application. So as long as we have the node application, we're going to have a basic wallet. But we also want to have GUI wallets and on Linux, Mac, and Windows. And if you go to the Zencash, uh, app, uh, the Zencash project on GitHub, you'll see that there's already Elios wallets that are available for the Equihash-based currencies. And those Equihash-based currencies are Zcash and Zclassic. So you can download and use these wallets today. And this is important for what we're doing with the chain split of Z, uh, of Z Classic into Zen Cash and Z Classic because if you have your Z Classic uh, coins in your Helios wallet or your uh, Linux wallet or things like that, then as long as you export your private key or your wallet DAT file, you can then import that. Uh, into the Zen Cash portion of the wallet and have access to all the Z Classic, sorry, to the same amount of uh, Z currency uh, that you had before the uh, chain split. Okay, we also need to have miners. So miners are going to be, first of all, you can all you can start by mining using the um, Zencash node application, and that's with CPU mining. And we might have some folks that start out right there with CPU mining. So that's great. As long as you're running the node and you're running it in mining mode, th then we're going to have the calculations that we need to create the blocks, which happen every, about every two and a half minutes. And we're going to have these blocks. The blocks will have the Coinbase rewards, and the, it'll go to whoever it finds it. So the initial miners are going to be the CPU miners running the node software. However, uh, since there's really good GPU mining applications out there, people will quickly move uh, to GPU mining applications uh, running proxy software where they can uh, uh, group their um, GPU miners together and then uh, quickly move to mining pools. And our intention is to have support for the mining pools so that they can be ready to go and have the mining pool um, enabled so that GPU miners can join those right as the and be mining right when the fork happens. And then exchange support. Uh, it's hard to have a, a price determined on what Zen Cash is without people being able to actively trade it on an exchange. And Bitrix has been a great partner to us. Um, and we expect that Bitrix is going to provide support for Zen Cash as well as to be able to provide support for Z Classic um, to the Zen Cash uh, if you have your Z Classic on Bitrix, we expect that you're going to also be able to have uh, Zen Cash on Bitrix after the chain split. We don't have official word in writing or anything like that from Bitrix yet. As soon as we get that, or when we do, we'll make sure to let everybody know about that. Okay, so these are the things that we have to have for launch. Um, it's, you know, we've got to have this. So this, as you can imagine, is the priority. There's a lot of other things that we're doing, but this is the priority right now. So let's talk about some of the other things that, that we're going to do um, and that we're preparing for uh, right after the launch happens. All right, so there's a bunch of things that we're working to do with Zencash. And so right as we launch and after we launch, um, there's going to be Coinbase rewards that are going to be distributed, so not being distributed just to miners. They're also, although 88% of those are being distributed to miners, 3.5% of them 
are being distributed to secure nodes. And I'll talk about secure node requirements in just a second. Um, and then 3.5% to the core team uh, and 5% to the Zencash uh, distributed autonomous organization. So this might change as, as we go forward, but for right now, it's worth it to have full-time uh, developers and business developers and uh, be able to uh, purchase the things that we need to purchase to pay for the, the launch and other things like that without having to go through the project and proposal process um, that w we need to do uh, to spend funds through the organization. So right after launch, support. Because we're involving users on secure nodes, that's going to be a lot of it. So there is um, secure node owners are going to have lots of different questions uh, on, on how to set it up, how to operate it, are they going to get paid, how do they track it, all sorts of things like that. Now that is important to us because secure nodes are important to, to us. Um, but our first priority is going to be the people that are owners of Z Classic and, Zen, and then Zen Cash and make sure they're able to export their private keys, import their private keys, provide assistance with the wallets, provide assistance with, with the exchange. Uh, the folks that own Z Classic now and they're going to be owning Zen Cash after the launch are the folks that believe in what we're doing and are excited about what we're doing. And so that's an important part of our uh, community base. Uh, secure node operators, very important as well. Um, miners, we want to have lots of miners because that provides stability for the blockchain. Um, and uh, I also believe that the more miners and the folks that you have in your community and the ecosystem, that helps drive the value of the cryptocurrency up. And when the value of the cryptocurrency goes up, it's a, it's a virtuous circle where more people get involved and more developers develop and more people market it uh, and then it, it turns into a positive feedback loop and it gets really to, to where we want to be. Uh, and then the users of the messaging features. The messaging features that we're doing with, with Zen Cash are more than just the, um, the, the note field that Zcash and Z Classic have. Uh, there's going to be channels that we can have and that's, that's enabled in, in the wallets and that's an important part of the uh, Zen Cash capabilities. So let's talk a little bit about um, what we need to do uh, to provide uh, wallet support and, and for secure nodes and some of the secure node requirements. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about wallets. So if you have Z Classic now, then you've got it stored somewhere in some kind of wallet, either a wallet on your computer or um, a wallet on exchange like Bittrex. And that wallet has private keys. And after the launch, you're going to get a copy of those private keys and import them into your Elios wallet. Like I said, I expect that Bittrex is going to be able to do that for any holders of Z Classic on the exchange so that you should have Zencash show up uh, in your account at, at Bittrex. However, just in case, uh, that doesn't happen. It's good to be familiar with how wallets work and be able to know how to take the Z Classic from the exchange and put it onto the wallet on your computer. So the Elias GUI wallet is great because it works on Linux, Mac, and Windows. You can download and use it right now. It's a wallet that works for Zcash and Z Classic. And after the Zen launch, it'll work for Zen Cash as well. Um, now we always have the Linux command line wallet and we can export our Z Classic keys and import that uh, from our Z Classic uh, command line wallet and we can import that into our Zencash command line wallet. With the GUI wallet, we export the wallet file from the Z Classic wallet and then we import it into the Zencash version of the wallet. Uh, or we can just copy and paste the wallet dat file from one directory to another. So that's the idea. And I guess we're going to be providing support on how to do this. Now, secure nodes. Um, every cryptocurrency has nodes. That's what um, has all the information that uh, gets uh, all the transactions from the wallet. It floods it around to all the other nodes. Um, then the miners take the information that the secure nodes or the nodes pass along to them. 
and put that into their memory pool and they work to solve uh, and put that into the blocks and they take those and put those blocks onto the blockchain and that's that's how we run the that's how we run the blockchain uh, we think that it's important to have uh, secure and reliable nodes that have the processing capability to be able to operate the system, which is why we're redirecting some of the mining reward to do that. Now, anybody can run a Zencash node, but if you want to be part of the group that has the ability to get payout of the mining reward for the secure nodes, you have to meet some requirements. And these are the initial requirements. There might be future requirements um, in order to, to maintain eligibility for that. Uh, first off, you have to have encrypted communication capability. Right now, that's with an SSL certificate. So you can get a free SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt, for example, uh, but there is a process to do that. And so um, this is not secure nodes. Running a secure node is not for everybody. It's pretty much for people that are IT people that understand how to operate Linux on a virtual private server, will understand how to make a secure version of Linux, whether it's Ubuntu or um, CentOS or something like that, and how to go out and get a certificate file. And now, there are we're going to write directions on how to do this, but the directions don't help you when there's a problem. That's why we're, we're there, there on the Slack. But you can't expect to have no technical capability and run a secure node. It just it doesn't fit. Okay? Um, if, if you have no technical capability, still love you, buy some Zen Cash or a Z Classic on the exchange and be an investor into the community that way. But if you have technical capabilities, then we'd love for you to run secure nodes. And um, need to maintain a minimum of 42 Zen Cash uh, so that there's uh, some staking involved in that. And monitor the secure node channel. So part of the Zen Cash protocol is to be able to publish secure uh, notes within uh, the shielded transactions. So there's, and also to do this to channels that everybody can monitor. So there's official uh, channels that are, and that you need to monitor as a secure node, and we'll send out information, challenges, about every 10 minutes um, that a secure node needs to respond to. And in order to respond to that secure, that challenge, you need to place some information and publish that uh, onto the blockchain in a shielded transaction. So that means your node has to be able to create a shielded transaction. So what if I found the minimum requirements? Well, you have to have at least um, one processor and four gigs of memory available. So you're not going to be able to just take uh, a machine and run 10 or 100 uh, secure nodes on it unless you're really good uh, with uh, Docker or VMware or VirtualBox or things like that. Um, but it's set up so that Zencash is able to have probably a few thousand secure nodes out there that we're able to um, make the system work on. And so that's why we're, we're willing to reward that. And the people that make the secure nodes and make them run well, uh, they're, they're going to get part of the payout. So we'll have guides on how to do this and how to's. Um, I've had a question already, can I do this on a Raspberry Pi? We should be able to do it on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, I've got a, a few of those back at my office. I'll test that out because that's a version of, of Ubuntu. We'll go through and compile. Uh, Z Classic on there and, and see if we can uh, do that and, and run shielded nodes on that. Um, but that's the big picture on, on secure nodes. So wallets and secure nodes, that's where we're going to be provided most of the support. And just like any other type of support, when we see people asking the same questions a lot, we're going to do a frequently asked question. We'll do guides because everybody learns differently. We're going to have written guides with pictures. We're going to have YouTube uh, videos, all sorts of different things on how to operate the different elements of this. So to wrap up, um, I'll talk about the, what's going to happen next and, and what we're going to do uh, next um, before the launch. All right, so what are we doing now? OK, we've got the launch May 23rd. So that's coming up real soon. Um, we're going to have a party, uh, officially 7 to 9 PM. I'm, Sure, we'll be hanging out afterwards at the attic in, in New York City. 
Uh, it's about two blocks from the Consensus Hotel. I'm going to be there uh, attending Consensus. I'm, I'm registered. So is Josh. Uh, so is Rob. I know uh, other folks are going to be attending as well. So it'll be good to get together and have face-to-face -face meetings with some of the folks that I, I haven't actually met before. So if you're going to be going to Consensus, would love to talk to you, meet you, um, have a discussion. Uh, I know we're going to have a raffle um, at our party, of course, and uh, alcohol and all sorts of things like that. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of marketing coordination. We want people to know what it is that we're doing. Now, we're not, we're telling folks what our plan is, what we're doing. We're not over promising. We're not doing an initial coin offering. We're not um, asking for uh, people to invest into Zen Cash. Um, if you want to invest into Zen Cash, you can buy Z Classic. That's the way to do it now. Who knows what's going to happen to the price of Z Classic and Zen Cash when they start trading? I honestly don't know. It might go down, it might go up, it might do both. Um, but I, I would like to encourage you to continue to uh, keep track of what we're doing because I think we're doing all the right things to uh, launch a really good viable cryptocurrency that has some unique features and has the ability to grow and continue uh, to do well in the future. So we've got the right folks, we've got the right structure, um, and we've got the intentions and the ability to work hard and uh, go through and figure out all the things that needs to be done. So uh, some of the things that are our project management tasks, uh, obviously, just like I said before, we need to get the node software and the wallets uh, working uh, the, the right way. We could just fork Z Classic right now, but that doesn't accomplish what it is that, that we want to do. Uh, we want to have some of those initial features enabled right at launch. Um, marketing and social media, you're going to see more information uh, out there about that. And details, how to's, answer questions, uh, we're working all that. Um, and one of the big ones that we've been working on for the past two months is the white paper. So um, you can expect to see that soon. And the information that I've been talking about and sharing is all being um, written in the white paper. There's some things that I haven't talked about yet that I will in future videos, how governance is set up, how voting is set up, what some of the roadmap uh, items that we're going to be doing for uh, wallets and how we're going to um, uh, add capabilities to be publishing to NuNet and interplanetary file systems and things like that. So there's a lot of exciting uh, things. And we're not going to put everything in th into the white paper, but we do want it to be descriptive of what it is that we're doing and our goals and all the things that um, we intend to do. So again, um, my name is Rolf, Block Ops. Uh, you can expect to see more videos from me and uh, more blog posts and information and things like that. And um, if you have questions, please do read the stuff that we put out there on the blogs and on the wikis uh, and, and, the, and the homepage and as well as the Twitter feed, the official, uh, I've told you who the people are that are part of the core team. Uh, I know in some of the recent IC, uh, uh, initial coin offering, uh, there's been uh, fake names and things like that. So, I mean, this is cryptocurrency world, right? I mean, this is a Bitcoin and altcoin. Uh, be smart and, and, and verify the information. I still get multiple people per day asking, well, what, what's happening at block 100,000? We had initially announced that we were going to fork at block 100,000. Then one week later, we changed that and said May 23rd. I think people just like bringing that up uh, just to confuse everybody else out there. So I don't know. But these are the official uh, information sources, the YouTube channel. And reach out and ask us the questions on the Slack. And, and, and we're trying to be very straightforward about what it is that we're doing. So I'm excited about the launch that's coming up. Um, we're Please uh, understand that we're working hard. We have a priority list. Uh, we're going through the different things that we need to do to make this successful. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.